hidden in this jumble of letters is the name of George Washington, First Lady. Can you find it? Now you see it. That's how we play. Now. You. See. It. Now you see it. And here's the host of our show, Chuck Henry. Hey, yeah. Thank you, John Morrow. Thank you, audience. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Now You See It. We'll get right on with the game and meet our first two players. We've got Andrea and Scott coming on stage. Hi, Hi Andrea. How are you? Hi, Scott over here. This is Andrea Michaels. Yes, sir. And Andrea, you make puzzles for Game Magazine. Right? right, and for Games Junior, I make the little easy ones for children to play. Okay. What, is it any particular kinds of puzzles? Are they... Um, crosswords and all sorts of word games and trivia puzzles. Then you should love this game. <laughs> I love this game. This is a great little word, word game. Games. You can have some fun with it. And here we have Scott Ramp, and if Scott looks familiar, you were on a previous show, but because of a problem, we brought you back again. Scott, I remember you like to uh, scuba dive, but this is a man who doesn't like to dive in warm water. He likes cold water. Up around Oregon, isn't that? Yeah, is that Oregon correct? and up in Seattle, Puget Sound area. You just sound there. Okay, well, you guys know how the game is played, so good luck to both of you. Let's take a look at our game board. Now you see it. Audience, we're going to let you continue to see the board, but for the players, the board vanishes. You do get a look at it after I finish reading each question. Every answer, as you know, starts out at 100 points, but we deduct 15 points for every second to use trying to find the answer. All set. Now here's our first question. What make of car are there only six of in the Soviet Union? Scott. Line four? Line four. Rolls. Rolls is correct. That's worth 75 points. If you have on the clock, that goes on to your score. First player to reach 1,000 points wins our game and then goes on to challenge our returning champion and perhaps the chance to go for the solo round today, which is worth $20,000. Here's our second question. Boy, the show's going quickly today. What have 74% of us taken in the last 24 hours? Scott. Line four? Line four. Shower. That's right. It's a shower. 23 of us took baths. And I guess that 3% uh, of us are what's called the unwashed. Anyway, you got the point. You got 150 points there. While George Bush makes $200,000 a year as president, how many thousands of dollars a year does Mikhail Gorbachev earn? Scott again. Line three. Line three. 30. 30 is correct. 30,000 another 75 points. Scott picks you up over 200. You have 225 points. Here's our next question. According to USA Today, the latest craze in investing, is it oil, gold, or stock? It's what? Scott. Line one. Line one is incorrect. I repeat the question for Andrea. According to USA Today, the latest phrase in investing isn't oil, gold, or stock. It's what? Ah, the latest phrase on line two is art. Oh, art sorry. collecting. Nobody got the point? Move on to the next question. What city will be the home of a $48 million Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum? Andrea. Line one. Line one. Cleveland. Cleveland. They're on the board with 85 points. That wasn't so difficult. The leading cause of anxiety in adult men involves going to a what? Scott. Line two. Line two. Party. That's right. Anxiety? Going to a party. You have 300 points. What football coach wore a bulletproof vest during a game? Scott. Line one. Line one. Landry. Tom Landry. Dallas Cowboys. 95 points. He has 395. What did Fred Astaire do until he was 69 years old? Andrea. Line two. Line two. Cap. That's right. Cap. 45 points, Andrea. You now have 130. What exotic instrument from India did George... Andrea. Line four. Line four. Sitar. Sitar did George Harrison play on the Beatles' Sgt. Pepper album. Okay, you got a maximum number of points there. Takes you up to 230 points. Scott, you're still in the lead with 395. And our next question. For what secret organization did Napoleon Solo work? Yes, Scott. Line one. Line one. Uncle. Uncle was the organization. That's correct. You got 100 points. You have 495 points. We're going to take a break right here. We're at the end of the first round. We'll be back with a new game board. More questions on Now You See It after this. Yeah, what are you moving up now? Yeah, a little bit. You're moving up now. You got the hang of it. I'm looking for the 
first shot here, but to a rapid fire, I got the answer. I was from that, so we went to the football, and I thought that was the first bird I saw when they flashed it. I Welcome back. Tonight you see it. We have our two players, Scott Ramp, you're in the lead with 495 points. And you're also an artist, aren't you? That's right. Painting? What kind of painting do you do? I do what's called faux finishing. I take and paint any surface to make it look like it's something else. Marble, stone. I mm -hmm. usually work with walls and tables. So you can make wood look like marble? You bet. I can make marble look like wood. Either way. Doesn't make any difference. Why not? Scott? And here we have Andrea, who is about to make a big comeback before we took the commercial break. You have uh, 230 points, and they're saying you also taught English overseas. Where? I taught 18-year-old Greek boys uh, to speak English, and I was 19. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now, come on. You really did. I did. So it was really? the longest year of my life. Longest year of your life. Probably the best year of your life, too, right? <laughs> All right. Remember, the first player to reach 1,000 points wins the game, then goes on to meet our returning champion. As we said, solo game today worth $20,000. One of the two of you could be up there. And let's take a look at our new game board. Here it is. And here's our first question in the second round. In a recent survey, sex won first place as American male's favorite activity at home. How did it rate with women? Andrea. Line four. Line four. Third. Third, that's right. You got any guess what uh, might have been first? Um, for women? Yeah, for women. Just take a what wild guess. What do you think was interest? the first? Um, it's first interest, yeah. Uh, children. That's right. It was family was number one, and number two was, yeah, was listening to music. Oh. Okay, and sex was number three. Oh, well. We won't be okay, you got the 80 points. You have 310 points. Here's the next question. What leading man worked in an oil field to earn money to study, to study that is, painting in Paris? Andrea. Line one. Line one. Ford? No, that's incorrect. I'll repeat the question for Scott. What leading man worked in an oil field to earn money to study painting in Paris? Scott. One Redford. Redford. Robert Redford is the correct answer. That's worth 60 points. You have 535. What product doesn't appear on French TV because of a regulation which forbids showing baby's bottom? Scott. Uh, line three. Line three. Pampers. Pampers. 85 more points. Time to your 555. You've got 640 now. What's the first name of the Russian first lady who shops with an American Express card when she travels abroad? Andrea. Line four. Line four. Raisa. That's Raisa. correct. Gorbachev. <laughs> White, you got it? 95 points. You got 405. Now, what pop singer will have to pay the Russians $10 million to send him up in space? Okay, Andrea. Line four. Line four. Denver. John Denver. Yeah, wants to go up in space. It's going to cost him $10 million. You now have 475 points. What do American men most like to go shopping for? Andrea. Line two. Line two. Tobacco? No. <laughs> okay, I'll repeat the question for Scott. Here it is. What do American men most like to go shopping for? Scott. Auto. Sure, the guys like cars. Get a car. 65 points. You have 705 now. Now, speaking of cars, what company makes the lowest price new... Am Andrea. Line one. Line one. Ford. Ford. <laughs> lowest price new American car on the road today. Ford. 100 points, that takes you up to 575. Now, that sound means that we're running out of time on the show. So we're going to double the point value for every question. We'll start at 200 points. Once again, 1,000 points wins the game. Okay, score is going to add up quickly. I'll recap quickly for you. Andrea, you have 575. Scott, you have 705. Here's the question. What fatherly nickname did Scott? Line three. Line three. Papa. Papa, yeah. Call Ernest Hemingway. Marlena Dietrich. 200 points, Scott. That now means you have 905. You are 95 points away from a win. What does Helpful Heloise suggest you clean by stuffing it in a... Yes, Scott, for the Line win. Line one. Line one. Brush. Brush is correct. Oh, wow. Stuffing it in a stock and dropping it in your washing machine. <laughs> Scott, come on over and join me if you would. Andrea? He was quick. Very quick. Okay, there's Very nothing quick. much you can do when he buzzes in with the answer before we can even read the question. But okay. you were a fine player, and you were doing a great job of catching up. We do have some nice parting gifts for you. Thank you for being on now. You see it on here. Okay, Scott. Just a moment, you're going to have a chance to meet our returning champ, Deborah, And uh, we're going to pick a winner here and maybe a chance at the solo round for $20,000. Okay, we'll see how you do in a championship round next. 
We'll continue with more of Now You See It right after this. Okay. with us in the audience. Summertime, all come out. All right, welcome back to Now You See It. We've got Scott Ramp, who just went through our first game, and you're the winner. Now you're up here to meet our returning champion, and a chance today, one of the two here, we've got a chance to play for $20,000 in the solo game. So let's say hello, without any further ado, to Deborah Beck Weinstein. How are you, Deborah? Come on in here, Deborah. Deborah has $3,700 on the program thus far, and for those who don't know, tell us a little about yourself. Well, I'm a vocational rehabilitation counselor. I work with the disabled and help them to find jobs. I love the outdoors, river rafting, parasailing, anything adventurous, I'll do it. And a positive thinker. Yes. <laughs> you have visualized winning the big money, and she also has a... You, you have a ring that's made out of money. Is, is that a good luck piece, too? I'm hoping it is. I'm wearing it for luck, so okay, it better be. We'll, we'll see what happens here. We'll take a look right now at our new game board. Show the audience. There it is. It's worth $200 on the board are six words that fit in the first category. These are things it takes two people to do, okay? First player to find a word associated with a category takes control. You guys are all set, ready, go. Deborah. Line one, Mary. Mary. Certainly it takes two people to get married, wouldn't it? Okay, there's five more correct answers on your screen. Find them all for me in 20 seconds, and we'll give you the $200. Remember the category again? Things it takes two people to do. Ready. Go. Line two, kiss. That's one. Line two, seesaw. Two. Line three, tango. That's three. Line three, debate. That's four. Line four, box. You just got them all. Whoa. Now, Scott, I meant to warn you that Deborah, once she gets control, she usually goes right through the category. I don't know, something about it. She's very, very quick and a very good player of this game. Okay, let's take a look at a new board and a new category. Deborah, you already have $200. This category, members of the Kennedy family. We're looking just for the first names here, and we're playing for $300. So, first of all, for control. Ready? Go. Scott. Line two, Robert. Robert, that's correct. There are five more Kennedy first names. Give me 20 seconds, you'll get the $300. Put you right in the lead. Ready. Members of the Kennedy family. Go. Line... Three Rose. That's one. Lion three Ethel. Lion two. two John. That's three. Lion three Joe. That's incorrect. Um, two more. Hey, Scott didn't find them all. That means, Deborah, you now have a chance at it. All you have to do is give me one correct answer. I'll recap the answers that Scott found. These are members of the Kennedy family. First names, we found Robert, Rose, Ethel and John. There are two more on the screen. Just give me one, and you'll get three hundred dollars. Ready, Deborah? Go. Yes. Line, line three. No. Too late, Deborah. That means Scott, you've got the money. Now, Deborah, you must call out the uh, correct answer right away. And Scott, I'll recap the answers that were on the board. Uh, line four was Joe, and uh, also on line four was Ted. And what you did is you called the wrong line. You had the right answer with the wrong line. So make sure you get the right line and the right answer. Now let's take a look at our next game board. And the category this time, famous people named Don. And we're playing for $400. So if you're all set, ready, go. Deborah. Line two, Amici. That's correct. One of the Dons. There's five more up there. And this time you're playing for $400. So Deborah, ready. Famous people named Don. Go. Line four, Juan. That's one. Line four, Adam. That's two. Line three, Nut. Nut. That's three. Two more. Line one, Deer. Okay, not in time. So let's recap the answers for you, Scott, that Deborah did find. These are famous people named Don. She came up with Amici, Juan, Adam, and Not. Okay, there's two more correct answers on the screen. All you have to do is give me one, and you'll get the $400. Ready? Go. Uh, 
Too much time, Dribble. You get the four hundred dollars. You now have six hundred. Line two, famous Hawaiian singer Don Ho. Also line two, boxing promoter Don King. Don King. Six hundred for Deborah. Three hundred for Scott. Here's a new board. The category this time, cuts of steak. We're playing for five hundred dollars. Deborah, for you, that means a win. Keep that in mind, Scott. These are cuts of steak. Four control. Ready. Go. Deborah. Line two, round. Round. That's one of the cuts of steak we're looking for. You are playing for the win now. And a chance in that solo round for $20,000 today. So let's see what happens here. Cuts the stake. 20 seconds. Ready. Go. Line four, filet. That's one. Line four, tube. Two. Line three, chuck. That's three. Line three, flank. That's four. One more. He couldn't find it. That means, Scott, you now have a chance of that $500. Let's go uh, and recap the answers that Deborah found. We're looking for cuts of steak here. She found round, filet, cube, chuck, and flank. Cuts of steak for $500. Ready. Go. Scott didn't find the answer. Deborah, you remain our champion. Line two is ripped. That's right. That was great for vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you heard that or not, but Deborah said that was great for a vegetarian. Yeah, you, you did very well in the States. Well, listen, Scott, you uh, did a fine job on the show, and we do have some nice parting gifts for you. So thank nice you for being a contestant here, and now you see it. Now, Deborah, boy, we're going to see what happens if uh, the third time is the charm here. When we come back, Deborah's going to be playing our solo game today for $20,000. So stay with us. Okay, Deborah. with our champion, Deborah, third time on the show. She's here to play the solo game. And, uh, of course, as Scott found out, and as you know, sometimes the most difficult words to find are the small, the three- and four-letter words. That's They're right. very difficult. Well, we'll see what happens on this board. You know, today you have a chance of $20,000. Nice piece of change. Let's uh, get right to it. Let's take a look at our game board. Deborah, now you see it. And now you don't. As you know, I'll be asking you 10 questions. You have 60 seconds. Find as many of those answers as you can. We'll pay you $100 for every correct answer. Find all 10 today, and it's $20,000. As soon as you find an answer, you have the electronic pencil. Make a big circle. Call it out nice and loud so there's no mistake. Of course, if you get stuck on a question, we'll come back to it if there's more time. Yeah, pass, Dreaded we'll come pass. back. Okay, <laughs> dreaded pass. Well, good luck on you today. You. Okay? Here's the board, and the clock begins after I ask the first question. First name of an old-time Hollywood gossip columnist. Pass. A classic pinup girl. Hayworth. Right. A city that's home to an NFL team. Tampa. Right. A prima donna. Pass. An orchestra conductor. Pass. Title character of a comic strip. Darren. Incorrect. Title character of a comic strip. Dale. Incorrect. Title character Pass. of a comic book, okay? <laughs> a computer follow up. Pass. He published Vogue magazine. <laughs> Pass. An Al Pacino movie. Serpico. Right. A Chinese temple. Um, Pagoda. Right. First name of an old time Hollywood gossip columnist. Pass. A prima donna. Diva. Got it? Okay, you got the, got Viva. Okay, you got five correct. At $100 a piece, that means you got $500. Had some sticky ones there. The first name of an old-time Hollywood gossip columnist is Hedda. Hedda Hopper. Hedda Hopper. The orchestra conductor is Meta. Zubin Meta, right there. Title character for comic strip is Worth. And a computer file up is what they call a glitch. Get a glitch. The published Vogue magazine is Nat. Right there. Okay, those are the ones you missed. Well, listen, don't feel too bad because you did win a lot of money in the earlier game. We'll be back to recap all your winnings here. Now, you see it? Right after this. Ooh. 
Monty Nash. We're back now with our champion, Deborah. And Deborah, so far on the program, you have $5,300 in three visits. That's not bad. Of course, you'll be back again next time. Some of these boards are quite difficult. Very. And you just happen to hit one that has some difficult questions on it. But again, next time, the solo game, when we come back, is going to be worth $25,000. <laughs> see what happens then. Till then, I'm Chuck Henry for now. You'll see it. So long, everybody. Some of our departing contestants were received from Oneida Silversmith, elegant stainless serving trays in the Golden Royal Chippendale pattern, and a beautiful set of steak knives from Oneida Silversmith. And Pop Ice, delicious freeze at home treat, assorted fruit flavors, 18 bars per box, refreshing Pop Ice. And Eureka's Wake Up, great for the screen cleaning cleanup, lightweight, rechargeable, cordless, and in betweening vacuum, Eureka. And finally, equal treatment for hands and nails from Vaseline Intensive Care Hand and Nail Formula Lotion. And a Tisket Atasket year-round gift giving. Custom designed gift basket for all occasions. Filled with an unusually exciting selection of gifts from a Tisket Atasket. And a member of our studio audience will receive Hot Point Multi-Speed Extra Large Washer with hand wash cycle for small or delicate loads. Matching dryer automatic sensors with clothes are dry. Removable upfront lint filter. Hot Point. Television City in Hollywood, this is Don Morrow speaking for Now You See It, a Mark Goodson television production.